Hey everyone, this is Final Nub recording another Neo Forum video for FaceToFaceGames.com. And today, what we have here is a walkthrough of my Mox uh, preliminary um, tournament that I played, an eight round tournament that uh, could qualify you into the Mox playoffs. And I did it with a somewhat unconventional version of the Neo, Neo Brand deck. So instead of being blue green this time around, um, so two things here. Um, in the last video I did, that was before Once Upon a Time, and that was a straight blue-green version here. So what we have here is two things. One, the addition of Once Upon a Time, which has been a very welcome addition. Um, it can help uh, dig for Alasaurus Rider, obviously, as well as lands, because um, people ignore that uh, we only play like 13 lands or 11 in the blue green version so sometimes even though people say that uh once upon a time all only gets half the combo it actually gets two-thirds of combo their are mana alasaurus rider and the evolution spell so once upon a time has been quite good for me um the other change that you'll notice here is the addition of white for glittering wish now people might be asking well the final nub like the whole point of neo uh, neo brand is to go faster than everyone like why are you slowing down by a turn to cast glittering wish well i think the context of the format has changed so that um it's not nearly as fast as the hogak metagame dictated anymore so if people are slowing down and playing things like urza or uh, more control blue decks we can also afford to slow down our own game by more than one turn <clears throat> so um, this is the concession I made, uh, expecting a slower metagame. The Glittering Wish package, um, uh, gets you mainly Neoform. Neoform is the card that I, um, wish for the most, but, um, Guttural Response is actually a very good wish target as well, because none of the blue control decks are really killing you fast enough, so you can take a turn to, um, set up and glittering wish for a gutter, gutter response, which targets counter, which counters target blue instant spell, and because unlike uh, legacy with days and uh, force of will, the counter spells in modern um, are actually very expensive, so you can afford to slow down um, and try to f uh, actually do a stack fight rather than always fold to like a first negation and whatnot, because they can rarely cast more than one counter spell a turn on your combo turn, besides like a force negation hand. The other target here is Eladamory's Call. Um, it'll get you the Alistair Strider over two turns. It's a bit slow, but um, it has gotten the job done. Uh, Assassin's Trophy is a catch-all for uh, a lot of problematic permanents that could be Karn the Great Creator, that could be any, yeah, like a Hate Bear, for example. Notice that we don't have any pack, uh, Slaughter Pact here. We're conceding to the fact that um, Hate Bear's decks are not uh, viable anymore or are not as prevalent like humans. So if we ever face them, you know, we'll just try to go faster or just scoop it up. So. This package has really uh, increased the consistency of the deck a lot. Now, you do, you will notice that there's a Temple Garden and a Breeding Pool here. Um, Safe Right Quest has been a consideration for uh, Weefald, who I copied the deck from. Uh, he has been crushing it with Neoform Online. And Safe Right Quest does help you ramp and set up extra mana for a potential uh, combo turn with Guttural Response backup. So I did have that here for this tournament. I didn't put it in, because, so th these really should be uh, Horizon Canopy and the Waterlock Grove. So other than that, the rest of the list looks pretty, uh, pretty standard, I think. The only uh, notable changes are Nature's Claim, which I tried it out as a concession to some weird things like Blood Moon or Deafening Silence. Uh, Hercules Recall, which I've really liked against the Karn the Great, uh, Great Creator package, as well as um, multiple artifact lock piece decks that has Welding Jar, as well as against Affinity and Scales. And lastly, um, I'm playing Three Veil Summer Main as a concession 
that like there's a lot of black discard decks as well as um, counter spell decks right now, and I think the floor is really high given the texture of the um, texture of the format. And at worst, it's a green card you can pitch. So, um, as I've stressed before, the number of green cards in in the deck is very very vital for keeping your Alsace Rider turns consistent. In fact, there's only 13, 14, 15. Uh, 20. There's only 20 non-green cards, so two-thirds of your deck is two um, green cards. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Anyways, this is what I took to the Mox Preliminary. I played eight rounds, and there were some great matches there. So here's the deck, and uh, I will see you for the round one video.